Hello everyone, welcome to Court with Chrissy. Up for sentencing today is Pinocchio's protege. She tells lies upon lies and even ugly cries. Make sure you watch all the way through because this is a rare moment when Judge Stepka decides to mute the defendant. I hope you like it. Court with Chrissy is now in session. Yeah, okay. So uh, we'll call the cases of People versus G. filed 244234 FY. 244236ST. So Ms. G is here uh, by Zoom from the jail. Mr. Connolly is here in person. Ms. Tuesdale is here in person for the people. Um, file 4234, the 2024 file, is a conviction for operating while suspended, second, a one year misdemeanor, attempted fleeing, eluding an officer, a one year misdemeanor. In exchange, the felony fleeing eluding was dismissed the other case 4236 st is driving on a suspended second so ms g have you had the chance to review these pre-sentence reports ma'am oops you're muted i just i just sent you a message to unmute if you can accept that please yeah yeah yes i have your honor i have all right okay are they factually accurate or are there any changes, corrections, or additions that you'd like um, to have no, made? I, I, I do want to just, I want to say a few, just a few things. Um, I want to apologize first and foremost. Well, okay. Okay. Hang on. Okay. okay. Did, she, did she say they're accurate? She did. All right. Yes. Yes. So we'll, yes. They're, yeah. All right. Yeah. yeah. So we'll, we'll, okay. <laughs> we'll start with Mr. Conley speaking on your behalf. Okay. So Mr. All Conley. Right. And uh, much like Mr. Harshman, these become expensive cases. If you don't have a license, don't have insurance. It adds up. And you do the math on how many fines and costs, and, and I'll add it up in these two cases. It's probably more than it would cost to have an attorney help you get your license back. So, um, long story short, you're always best off not to drive to save your money, get your license back, uh, do it the right way. You don't end up in jail. You don't end up here owing sums of money. I think the flea and elude was a result of having been pulled over three times, that being the third time without a license. So she knew what was coming. So again, it all stems from not having the license restored. So that's what she's got to do. Judge. And I understand all of that. I, I, I don't even, my dad didn't even, um, he's going to sell my truck. Uh, uh, yeah, I can't, he can't even get tags on it because of my driving, my driving, my driving convictions. And my, I, I was very, I'm, I apologize. I, I know better than this. I have ailments. I and they're not excuses by all means. Um, I'm 46 years old. I know better than this. Um, my truck is parked. Um, I'm losing my truck as opposed to all of this. I've learned my lesson. I I, I I never. You will never see my face in this courtroom again if you've given me a chance. And I promise you that this is the first time I've ended up in this courtroom. And I, I, I if given a chance. I, your Honor, I will. You will never ever see me again. Um, and I know that I'm not probationable, but even if you put me on a, a non-report probation until my fines and costs are paid off, um, and and, uh, and I don't do these, and I get in trouble during this time, then you can throw me throw me in jail and throw the book at me and make me. But I, 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 I you'll never see me again. And I swear, I swear. I, I mean, after going to prison. Um, I reported, to, to, I mean, parole I went through successfully with no violations. And up until just this last year with these driving convictions, I hadn't gotten in any trouble. You know, I'm sick. My mom is sick. Um, I, you, well, you'll never see me again. I, I, All right. I should never say well, that, but I, you I know, mean, this has I'd been like, really hard. Okay, hang on, please. Sorry to cut you off. I'd like to believe that you're this time going to... Um, not violate the law anymore it's a little it's, hard hard to believe but no um, i i promise you i just give me a chance one chance just a chance to prove to you that i'm being honest i will i will i know that there was some medication and copax and injections and i will rectify that i will rectify my warrants given me till monday i will drop all this information off to miss sherry knight myself with my with proof, you know, my injections, and that I've taken care of my warrant in okay. Alpena. That is for uh, um, it's for an innkeeper. I just have to pay for one night's room in tax because I ended up in jail there for non paying fines. And I'll get with Cocaskin, and I will set up I will set up a payment plan. Um, I can't continue to keep doing this. 
I have my disability. I finally was finally able to get my disability back in line. I have one more step and that's to see their doctor. And I don't want to lose that, that, that again, because of, of my mistakes. I finally have the opportunity to get my disability, to get my life back on track from being in prison. And I don't want to lose that because of this. And and, and so, giving me to, just till Monday, I'll drop it, all that information off to, to, to Sherry. So by my count, you have 18 prior convictions. So, you know, you were asking for an, another chance. It almost seems Please. like you've had 18, you've had 18 prior chances. Um, and, I'm not, uh, you still I mean, keep coming back. No, not, I've never been into this, this courtroom. I've never, so, just one chance, Your Honor, well, one. One and chance. yes, you have. Yes, I you have. have. You've been in. I have. Slow I'm down, sorry, ma'am. Let yeah, me respond. Sorry. So you, you have been here before because I remember you. Um, oh, okay. I'm sorry. I didn't. I couldn't remember if I was here or not. I thought I was in Pelcask. I'm sorry. I, my apologies. Man. My apologies. So you've got at least four prior cases that I've dealt with. Um, I, I promise you, been, you'll never see me. Well, I, please, I don't know. I hope. Give me one well, chance. Okay. All right. I've heard that. Thank you. So okay. you do have a Kalkaska conviction. So you've been yes. in Kalkaska before too. You do have a yes. warrant also in Kalkaska. Yes. Yeah. Um, That's for $500. Well, it was failure to appear. I don't know what that's all yes. about, but there's a... It's a five hundred forty dollars cash bond. You've yeah. got a bench warrant in Alpena. Yeah, yeah. There's a charge of defrauding an innkeeper yeah. there. Yeah, I owe for one night room and tax there. And if you give me till Monday, I'll drop that information okay. off to Sherry. Yeah. That I'll take care of it. So, so, hang on, uh, Truesdell. Anything you'd like to add? Your Honor, in this case alone, there's also two failures to appear. Yeah, in, re in reviewing yesterday, right there, yeah. my notes, failure to appear, yeah. history. Oh, that's my, if I could say, my mail was on Ms. G, Ms. G, stop, please. So it's the prosecutor's turn to talk. Sorry, Liz. Clear cut. We had a little case. She saw the trooper. She ran from the trooper. He knew her from prior contacts yeah he knew she couldn't drive so he turned around on her and yes. yeah correct um to say Ms. Gee struggles with the truth is an understatement she told this court that she no longer has to pay um child support uh Ms. Jacobs checked with the child in front of the court she in fact goes somewhere around thirty thousand dollars in back child support and she is still required to pay that there was an incident when she was sent to jail uh, indicating that she could give herself the injections. She couldn't give herself the injections. I, it, I, she just tried to tell you she's never been in this court before. I, I believe that the maximum uh, jail sentence is appropriate in both cases. All right, thank you. So yeah, that's something too, the medication issue. Um, was it the yeah, date of the plea? Sorry. Hang on, please. Sorry. Hang on. Was it the date of the plea? Um, there was a remand to jail for bond violations and committing additional driving on suspended cases. I remember while well, she's charged with at least two at the time, I think she got pulled over two more times while on bond for driving on suspended. But anyway, you were remanded and you talked about the medication issue. I was concerned about it. So I asked um, Corporal Knight and they said, based on your um, description of the medications, and I think they were injections that you had yeah. to take. Yeah, the j jail said they could do that, but then come to find out, you wouldn't give them truthful information about <laughs> I, maybe even the type of medication and how to get it. Um, so you know, you kind of created your own issue there, ma'am. And then the other thing is, it's not believable that the Benzie County front of the court. <clears throat> where did this go? I circled this yesterday. Well, you made a statement in here to somebody alleging that the Benzie County front of the court uh, told you to lay low, as I remember, lay low and, you know, dodge the warrant. That's that never was said, ma'am. So, the warrant then, is gone. 
but the warrant is gone now. The warrant for Benzie is gone. I did take care of that. I oh, that's so gone. I, that's no I, longer there. Well, I don't know because I really just can't believe anything. Yeah, the Benzie County warrant. I just said, <laughs> but the Benzie County warrant is gone. I took care of it. I took care of the Benzie right. County warrant. Okay. I was just in Okay, I'll believe you on that, but you still have Alpina and uh, yes. Alcasca. Yes, believe. and I will take care of them warrants. And I apologize for my medication issues. My methotrexate is the one I get three times a day. They're in the middle of changing my Copax and injections. That's why I okay. said I will bring all that information, that documentation, and give it to Sherry myself um, on Monday if you could well, give me at least a non-report probation so that I, I can get my injections so I can prove to you guys that I'm not just telling you stories that they are, they do, I do need them for my MS, that I do need to get chemo medication for my not for my non Hodgkin's lymphoma. That's all been confirmed by, by the nurse here. Uh, she got my medical records. I'm in the middle of taking care of my medical stuff as we speak. Okay. I'm in the middle of changing medications as we so speak. Hang on. So I told you at the time of the plea, I was concerned about your medical yes. issues that you told yes. me about. Yes. But apparently you, you weren't telling me the truth. You weren't well, telling no. the jail the I truth. Just, and then, so hang on, I'm talking. So now why should I believe that you're going to bring everything in by Monday? I, I swear. And why should I'm I give you that chance? Life. I promise you, I swear I will bring okay. it to you. Ma'am, I'm my sorry. I'm so sorry, sorry. I rarely do this, but I'm going to meet, mute you. So I can speak. Anything else you'd like to say, Mr. Conley? You know, and I understand all the court's concerns. My only <clears throat> thought was if she gets out this time, I mean, it's like we say to her, if you pick up another charge, what's going to happen and be the max? I mean, that's the only way I can think of to test whether she's being truthful or not is to say, if you come back here again, you're going to get the maximum sentence and you're going to agree to it today. That's the only other reason I could think of to motivate her to do what she's supposed to do and be truthful because there's certainly no arguing with maximum sentence if you've agreed to it when you're let out that's that's the only other way i can think of of managing her judge if you don't wish to remand her today is to say prove it so i appreciate that suggestion but to me that i just don't think that would act as a deterrence for ms g i just don't um and actually had ms g gone to circuit court on the fleeing eluding you know, she's been to prison before, you know, maybe the circuits would have, and given the record here, maybe they would have sent her to prison, but I don't know. So she has all these convictions. She was to prison in 18, 2018 for 18 months to 14 years. And that didn't act as a deterrent for her. As a voluminous prior record. Done a lot of jail over the years. I, I think she's a risk to the public. You know, fleeing from the police is dangerous. So you, you don't leave us with miss much choice, Ms. G. So, all right. This is the fleeing eluding file, 244234FY3. Um, there'll be no probation, um, waste, signs, and costs. So $75 crime victims fee, $50 state fee. I'll reduce the attorney fee to $400. And then the jail sentence here will be 120 days jail credit for time served. The other file driving on a suspended second, file 244236ST3, no probation. I'll waive fines and costs here. The $75 crime victims fee, $50 state fee, $275 attorney fee, and this case two, 120 days credit for time served. The sentences will run concurrent. And if you have any medical issues um, at the jail, Ms. G, make sure you're honest with the jail and they'll help. So, okay. So we're all set, Ms. G. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. All right. Um, I guess we're up to Leonard.